let's solve 2 to the root x equals 1 over 2 raised to the x. So I'll write 2 to the root x equals 2 to the negative x. Same base, same base. That means you can equate this exponent with this exponent. So you're going to have root x equals to negative x. You're going to square both sides. So square like this. Why would we do that? Because then clearly this can be cancelled with this. So we end up with x being equal to... Now on this side it's just x squared. So we're going to have x minus x squared equals 0. So we're going to have x minus x times x equals 0. So I'm writing the square as these two. Why? Because then we can tell there's an x and an x common factor. So that's going to go out and what's left is 1 minus x equals 0. So either x is 0 or 1 minus x equals 0. Add x, add x, so it's telling you that 1 is equal to x. Do both of these work? You have to be really careful, so let's check. I'm going to do 2 to the 0. That's 2, well, root 0 is 0, so the 2 to the 0 is 1. Let's do 1 over 2 to the 0, the right side. That's 1 over 2 to the 0 is 1, which is still 1. So in this case, these two match. Does it work for x equals 1? You should really check that on your own. And then second, if it doesn't work, if I number the steps 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and one of these steps is probably something that occurs that introduces this extra solution. Can you find a step number? You would like if it's helpful.